Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to unlock the bootloader on your Motorola Zoom. It will void your warranty, your factory warranty, so know that ahead of time. Um, and as of right now, if you modify any part of the operating system, there's no way to relock it at this moment. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to unlock anyways, because who's not going to want to do it? It's the first step to rooting it which will allow you to later on install custom ROMs and things. So first we're gonna, my unit's powered off, but we're gonna power it on, the power button on the back, while holding the volume down rocker on the side. And it's starting back up now. You should see starting fast boot protocol support in the corner. You can now release and hook it to the USB on your PC. There are some files that have to be installed First, there are links to those below, and uh, you will have to become a Motorola dev, which is free. Uh, you just have to fill in a little information for your account, and you will also have to uh, download uh, the SDK, the Service Developer Kit from Google. It has the fast boot and uh, ADB um, drivers and program in it that you're going to need to run the system commands to unlock the bootloader on this device. So let's get into that. Hook to the PC. Okay, so you saw me run those commands. Uh, I had a slight bit of problem that some people have. Not everybody. I had to copy uh, my ADB and some WinAPI uh, files from the platform tools folder into the tools folder to get this to work. I don't know why. Not everybody has the problem. I don't use ADB much. I usually use Root Explorer to move stuff around in file systems. So that could be why. I'm going to include a small clip at the end to show how what files and how to move them if you need to. Uh, but let's get into this now. This is your screen with all your information asking you are you sure you want to do it, telling you it, it's unsecured, it, it, you know it with your warranty things like that I suggest you read this and if you're not comfortable with it don't do it you, know, you paid a lot of money for this device and yeah don't want you to make a choice it can be relocked but once you modify software and it's not factory Motorola software it's not gonna relock correctly so and as of, as of today March 28th uh, 2011 of course uh, there's no dump file for this no factory files so be warned ahead of time now it's saying please make a selection volume up back to select volume down for next cho choice current choice cancel so we're gonna go down to make it yes then we hit up to accept and you see a secondary warning and the same thing you're gonna go back to change it to yes and up to select and there we go device unlock in progress format a UDA now this takes a few minutes so let me just walk through all the details of this you're gonna need the Motorola drivers which I'm linking under the video you're gonna have to uh, sign up for a Motorola dev account which is nothing to it very simple you're gonna need the Android SDK from uh, Google which I'm gonna include the link to under the video you need to have those installed on your computer and set up before you start this progress and I plugged my zoom up once just to let it install the drivers before I started this process and just to be on the safe side uh, 
you're going to need to run these commands that I run in the video. Uh, if you're wondering why I went into the file system like I did, to me, that's the easiest way instead of having to type the whole stuff, all of the stuff out in command prompt. It's easier just to copy that way. So I hope I made everything easy to follow. It should be rebooting any minute now. It takes a, I also have relocked it and unlocked it. And it, it's very quick to relock it. It takes a minute to unlock device unlock operation done rebooting so now we'll boot back in and it has wiped all my data I do have to re-sign up with my Google account reset it up for Wi-Fi and all that but after that I should be able to run titanium and restore my programs as they are from my phone I have to copy the files in of course but uh and then I can flash a custom kernel which as of right now there are no custom kernels for the Wi-Fi only version people have tried to flash the radio version and they are not rebooting so I'm not going to be trying that until it's safe. Uh, I kind of thought that would be the case, but I wasn't sure. But uh, I'm going to do another video next about rooting this uh, because you can do that today. And that to me is the reason for unlocking the bootloader. And as far as I understand, after you root, you cannot relock the bootloader until you have a, uh, a factory system image to copy to it. So as of right now, when you're doing this stuff, it's permanent. But there we go, we're back in, safe to go, I'm going to set it up and uh, my next video will be how to root it. But uh, if you're having problems and it's giving you an error, say you're missing uh, API files when you go to use Fastboot or ADB, uh, I will include a clip that's about to start that shows you what files to copy and how to copy them over. So thanks, have a good one guys.